Today I'm working with Mark Matthews, a pro mountain biker, on an online course about mountain biking. And I just wanted to walk you guys through the set we've put together and the lighting setup that we're using for this. And I'll show you how the different lights impact uh, Mark and how it looks on his face so you can get an understanding of how to put a lighting setup like this together for yourself. We're in Mark's garage and using this as our set. And to make it a little bit more interesting, we've put this print of Mark doing the sweet jump in the background. It's got some nice blue tones, which are really on brand with everything that he's doing for photos. We've also put one of his old frames in here. This adds some similar tones to the image and starts to create some context that this is a mountain biking project. And then we've also got some helmets in the shot here and we, we bring all this together to have a complete set that communicates mountain biking. From here, I'm gonna have Mark come into the shot and we'll turn all the lights off and gradually build up the lighting setup that we're using to make this scene work. This is what our scene looks like with just ambient light coming in through the, the garage window. So from there, we built it up starting with a key light so for this, we're using an Aperture 120D, and we've got it set at about 70% power, and it's running through a softbox, giving those nice soft shadows on Mark's face, kind of a gradual roll off. To separate him from the background a little bit, we've got another Aperture light. This is a 672S, and this is just daylight balanced, and it's adding a little pop of light on his right side of his body, um, separating him a little bit from the background. The only other thing that I was noticing with this is I didn't totally like how the shadows were looking off of the helmets in the background. And there was just a little bit uh, lacking from the image and not enough pop. And so we added one more of the 672s into the image. And this just fills in the background, creating a little bit more separation between Mark and the background and makes for just a nice rounded image. So right now we're seeing Mark's point of view, looking at the camera. From here, if we turn to Mark's left, this is where our key is with softbox and grid. We turn a little further to the left and this is our light that's illuminating the background. And then we go all the way to the right and we've got this other rim light that's highlighting Mark's shoulder. Basically, we are set at 45 degree angles for the key in front of Mark and a 45 degree angle behind for the rim. And then the backlight is just where it fits in uh, to make a nice looking shot. And so we'll turn these lights off one more time and you can see what each of the individual lights is doing. We'll go with the rim light first. This just adds that nice reflection on the back of his body. Then we'll add in the other background light, just filling that in a bit. And then finally, we'll turn the key back on and we'll blind Mark for just a second there. <laughs> and, and that's what we get as our complete image. So we think it works really well. We've just done this in the corner of a garage, a really simple lighting setup. It gives us a high quality image that comes off as really professional and I think will look really good for an online course. I hope that was helpful for you guys to understand how to put together a simple lighting setup that gives a nice professional look that you can use at your next job. Until the next video, I hope you get out there, make something beautiful, and I will see you all soon. Peace. Peace.